Hey, Happy New Year! In the beginning of a new year, a new decade even, it's always time for reflection and, um, of course, to look forward, to um, think about what's ahead of us, to set new goals. So that's today's topic. What will the 2020s be like? <laughs> I'm in Miami today to talk to one of the world's leading companies in video surveillance. And just by looking at their numbers, their growth, it's fair to assume that uh, this industry will be uh, something very important, very big in the way we shape society in the decade ahead of us. One thing I often talk about when I tell people about the future is um, to separate the unknowns from the knowns. Um, successful companies like uh, Google or Amazon or Facebook, they are not where they are because their founders were good at guessing or predictions. Uh, they are where they are because they were focused on what's possible in the now. I know this sounds like a no-brainer, but think again. Most business leaders, most companies out there, they are focused on um, success in the past. I mean, take the automobile industry for example. How come a newcomer, a startup like Tesla, had to enter the market to, to shift focus to what's actually possible in this present moment? And then as if this wasn't enough, most leaders are also focused on um, what's unpredictable, like politics, trade wars, uh, the stock market, interest rates. Oh, wouldn't we love to know all those things? And oh, we never will because it's complex and thus depends on many interrelated factors, many unknowns. This is totally unpredictable. So instead of this, I suggest you switch focus to what we know about the now. So what do we know about the 2020s? Well, one thing we do know is that everybody in the developed part of the world have access to advanced connected devices. The smartphone was the true revolution of the last decade and now it's just a fact. And with this technology, everybody are producing and consuming data in a way that is changing every aspect of society and what it actually means to be human. And as I said to you about surveillance video, this technology will be everywhere in everything. Um, you will have wearable devices as well as devices all over society. You want to know where to find parking? Well, just check it live and there it is. You want to know about uh, your health? your blood pressure, how are you right now? Well, just check it, forget about doctor's appointments. Um, you wanna know about your emotions even. I mean, how does work make you feel? What does a Monday morning truly mean to your health and your body? Well, you will probably very soon in two, three years have a wearable device with capabilities to give you that information as well. But all this knowledge will come at a cost and the cost is privacy. To get data, you will have to give data. Now, if you're like most people, you probably don't think of privacy as a problem yet. But what if everything you did was registered? And not only what you did, but uh, your physical health when doing it or your emotions when doing it. You still don't see a problem? So what if your boss just uh, asked you why you felt nervous last week when he wanted to talk to you about your career? Or um, what if the DMV suddenly just uh, revoked your driver's license? because of your emotions in Monday morning traffic? Or what if um, your life insurance company called you and they changed the policy, doubled the price, because uh, as they wrote in the letter, because of your lifestyle? Now you see the problem, don't you? With all the technological solutions out there in this moment, I am 100% sure that this will be one of the big topics for the coming decade. Uh, data rights and the way we think about privacy. Uh, not only is it a big topic, a big debate, but it's also a very important one thinking about the future. Uh, the decisions we make now in the coming 10 years will most likely define the way we think of a free society for all future generations. Now talking about a decision that will shape society for all future generations, we have one more of those big topics, big questions, and of course that's climate change. According to all science, to everything we know in this moment, in this now, um, the action we decide on or the lack of action we decide on in this decade ahead of us will um, determine if the ecosystem on this planet will be something similar 
to this so our grandchildren can um, have a similar um, life or if um, a place like this, like Miami, will be underwater. So that's my prediction for the roaring 20s ahead of us. Um, strategy and marketing, like in the old days, will be replaced by surveillance and manipulation as a business tool. And because of that, data rights will be one of the biggest topics. That and sustainability. What do you think? Um, you want to add something? Feel free to go ahead in the section down below. And like always, if you want more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the future. Thank you.